Okay, I think I'm live. Let's have a quick look. Um, let's, have, let's have a look. It's saying good status. Um, why is this not showing on here? Um, I, can I see myself on here? Ah, yes, there we go. Let's have a look. It's saying good status. Um, why is this not showing on here? Okay, so um, welcome everyone to my first. Ah, yes, there we go. I'm gonna mute myself. So welcome everyone to my very first ever um, Monday roundup. What what I call it? Oh, the Monday hag. That's what I called it. I couldn't remember what I should call it. Sort of on here. Um, let's just see how many people are in at the moment. Um, hopefully, I've got it working properly this time. Um, no, it's in the car. Hmm? Oh, um, I'm just mucking things up at the moment. I'm just trying to get my um other thing working so I can actually see people sort of on here. Okay, right. Well, we're just trying to um give Samuel something else to eat or slow him down because at the moment he's being a little bit grumpy in the background. He just had his injections, um, sort of on on here. So is. So live chat, let's get this open, see what we've got in here. Right, so you got to bear with me a little bit. This is the first time I've actually been doing this new way around. I used to use my El Cato streaming device. Today I'm now using trying to use the Google sort of Hangout sort of thing. Um, hello, Ashley. Um, it's over there. So all of these little things which I'm looking at for this weekend is mainly, I'm just going to mute the phone. This is really annoying me. It's on a field back. Um, actually, I don't actually need the phone, I don't think, because I can see it actually on the screen itself. So my main thing today is basically what I thought I'd try and do a weekly sort of event on a weekend, uh, just after the weekend, just to say how my weekend's gone, how the week's gone, and things I've got planning actually coming up. So that is, so that is what the actual the agenda of today is. So my weekends, what did I do this weekend? I didn't do no reselling work whatsoever this weekend, actually. Bar Saturday, I went out Saturday morning to the local Sainsbury shop. Hi, Mike. Um, to buy some sort of milk and that for breakfast. And there's a Saturday's car boot sale right next door to Sainsbury's. Hi, Tracy. And so I had a look around. It was a little bit drizzly sort of thing. Um, there was five stalls and there was literally just... I mean rubbish there was nothing there whatsoever um i was there about 6 30 7 in the morning and there was just nothing around there whatsoever at all um sunday i say i didn't really do anything major major sort of reselling orientated sunday but i did have a scout competition where i was um going over and sort of man managing that i also had my son's second birthday the one who won't ring behind me hello samuel hello no, now you want him to talk, and he's just not talking at all. So um, he was on there, and also um, I, I drove to London just to drop someone off at London and come back again. I got back at midnight last night, and then up, up yeah, I, I passed one this morning. I got back sort of on there. So um, that was my sort of weekend sort of on there but sales over the weekend have been quite good um what i thought as well for moving on to the next sort of thing i might give you a little sales update of what's actually just gone the first thing went was um i haven't got it here because i've just sent it to um what's it called parcel force it was nintendo wii a red wii with um red motion plus controller and that sort of thing that went out for £35 plus postage. What I did find, which is very, very surprising, I don't know if anyone else um, has noticed this before, that I send some of my big parcels um, through Parcel Force because I trust him a bit more than Hermes. And today I did a little bit of price comparison um, myself. I went on to the Parcel Force website and put in the dimensions of the parcel, uh, which is a small parcel, weighed three kilograms. It came up at £26 to send it two days. I thought it was extortionate. So I, I then went on to Interparcel, and for the exact same parcel, uh, I paid £8, what was it I paid? £8.87 uh, for the same parcel. So £26 for Parcel Force, or £8.87 for um, Interparcel. So... If you are using Parcel Force, I do recommend checking out the Interparcel website just to give yourself a little bit of um, 
sort of saving some money sort of on here. So let's have a quick look who else is in the chat. So we've got Tracy, Ashley and Mike. Um, let's have a quick look. Does it say how many people are watching it? This, I'm sort of I'm playing around with this thing for the first time, so I'm not really entirely sure how this system's working over there. Um, no, let's have a quick look. I can't really see how many people are in the chat, um, sort of on here. It's not really letting me know this sort of stuff. But my signal strength, I just noticed, has gone down slightly. So, oh, my phone just crashed as well. So let's have a quick look. Oh, seven, seven people. Yes, if you are in the chat, just um, just put a little message in there. Um, so if you are watching me, just put a little message down so I can give you a little shout out so I know who's actually in. Um, sort of on there. Uh, oh. Hello, Dr. Doodle. Um, hi there. Oh, I've got two. I've got two windows open. The same thing. That so I, I am. I am a complete noob at this um, going live stuff. <laughs> but it will get better. It will get better as time goes over. Um, other things. What sold then? So that was the first thing. What sold this weekend? The second things um, to go out was um, I bought a massive, massive job lot of. Um, connects ages ago. Um, what what I found out from looking at the connects, there wasn't much money in actually. Oh, there, should be. there wasn't actually much money in selling them as a job lot. So what I decided to do is split them down into smaller sort of bundles. Uh, this here is just sixteen little connectors. Just to give you some idea, I paid I paid about nine ten pounds for three of those big massive tubs, and um. And I, and I just got out of selling sixteen of those, three pound forty eight. Yes, so not too much money. So one pound fifty plus postage, um, two pound postage. Um, it's not going to cost me two pound to post it at all. And um, but I'm selling quite good quantities of this sort of stuff, and it, it just ticks over a little bit at a time. So that's that. You two. Other things to go out today. Have been um these have been sitting around for ages reminiscing games so 1960s to 1990s 2000s and, that, and the 1950s to 1980s so they've been sitting around for ages i paid 14 pence for each of those and they've just gone out as a job lot in the end i, I decided to stop them going as a um whole sort of thing and got a 14 pound plus postage return for those Hi Tracy. Yeah, I love the kids. Yeah, it's usually they're um slightly bit more quiet, but for some reason today they're really really hypo. Um, the little one has just had his injections, so um I thought he'd been a bit sleepy, and uh, Oliver has just come back from school, and I've just gave him a Twinkie for the first time, so I think I've just given him some hypo with chocolate. Yeah, say say hello Oliver. Say hello Tracy. And then so hello Doctor Doodle. Say hello, um, say hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. And hello, Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Here we go. So you got a little shout out from um from Oliver at the same time. Hello. Um, thing. Yeah, I also sold um over the last sort of couple of couple of hours. <laughs> hello, Oliver. They say. Also, a bundle of books sort of went over. So um, these didn't really go for too much. The books went for where's my paperwork? seven pound plus postage just for a few books again i paid probably about, i think these were a penny each from a charity shop they're doing a penny sale and i just got loads for a penny and um the last thing to go out was a set of drumsticks so i had a return a while ago on um a wee drums because they said the yellow snare was or, or the yellow symbol wasn't working properly so um I had a look at it. I couldn't get the other snare sort of symbol working. So what I decided to do, instead of throwing it away, I just split it all up. I took the pedal, the bass pedal off, the drumsticks off, the pads, the individual pads as well, and selling them all for eight pound each. And so far, I've sold the sticks and I've sold two of the coloured pads and the pedal. So um, for picking the drums up for eight pound, having them returned and I'm um, selling them back out again. So I've actually made all my money back and more for selling the parts of the wee of the wee jobs and it's also a lot easier to post those things as well because you don't have to worry about massive beyond massive box sort of on there so that is my sales for for this sort of weekend 
looking forward this week i'm tackling my lego haul um you know i did the video a few a few about, about a week ago now on moving into my new storage locker um this week i'm starting tomorrow and start cataloging probably a few million bricks um sort of and one of my best mates is going to come over i went down to london with yesterday he's decided to come help me out and he doesn't want nothing for it he just likes playing with lego he's going to give his services free of charge to help me sort it out but i did say um his kid if he, if he finds a model he really likes for one of his kids um i'll let him have it sort of over there so thanks very much daniel so that is my main emphasis this week currently listings i've got on on ebay is 450 amazon um just slightly short of a thousand i think I've just sent a shipment over to Amazon, which is going live currently, of of 75 Wii and Nintendo and PS3 games, and also a Wii console. Um, the Wii console I sold just now is for £33, but I've got the same console going up to Amazon for £50. So hopefully that will come over. Yes, Sam. Uh, hopefully that will sort of go over. Um, let's have a quick look then. So how many we got in there now? Let's have a quick look. Sure. Seven. How long have I been going? It is, see, this technology stuff, I still haven't really, really worked it out at the moment. So that is, it's not really, I haven't really got too much more to sort of offer for the first sort of thing. I just want to get out there to start having a sort of little chat sort of come on and, and then do something on a monday afternoon just to break it up we all know what mondays are like after the weekends you have all the sales on the weekends a bit manic i just thought i'd do something just slightly different just to break it up um i've just noticed my camera's actually really really high up in the sky it doesn't really have any questions at all sort of on here but also i want people to put things down below what they want to talk about um i literally just came in five minutes before i was meant to go live today so i was going to have some things planned sort of come over there but i just never got around to doing it but um i have just received my um some orders of more boxes um my ebay boxes and i've just literally just opened up um, a big bag of ebay mailers yeah so this is for my 10 pound voucher i get each month from out from from ebay yeah so this is the first time i've seen use ebay and um is, is that backwards when you're looking over there because i think when i hold things up on the screen it looks backwards for some reason let's have a quick look i'm, I'm on a slight delay on my phone so i'm gonna have, have, have a look but it does say ebay but what's really really strange to me on the back of these um bags they say reuse this bag sell on ebay now but the sticky things they put on it are so sticky that you've got to rip the bag open. So how on earth are you meant to reuse one of these bags after you just ripped the thing open just to get to your product inside it is beyond me. I love to see someone try to reuse these because um, because look, look at the state of the bag I had to get just to get into it, just to see what I had. Yeah, I think that's crazy. <coughs> Right, um, there was something else I really did want to talk about today as well. Um, I cannot remember what it was. What was it? Oh, yeah, I sold something else. I just remember I sold something else. Daddy. Yeah, this bag. So um, I bought a job lot. Oh, no, I bought a camcorder from um, from eBay. And, no, not from eBay, from a car boot sale for £1.50. The camcorder didn't work. But inside the camcorder, there was loads and loads of um, uh, what's it called? Parts and, exp and parts to do with the, um, the camcorder itself. And I've been making a lot of good money just from selling these things. This this went for seven pounds plus postage, just for a little empty bag, just to put a silly um, eight eight, eight millimeter camcorder inside it. So it's quite a little happy of those things, but not major major sales this week um i'm really really trying to push it forward my goals for this month and i'm trying to go for a three thousand turnover um hopefully we're net two thousand after sort of takings and sort of over there um through 
a mixture of all three of my selling sort of channels. So that's really what I want to try to hit my Bricklink. I think my Bricklink shop is going to bring me a lot of that good return in, especially all the um, 150, 200 computer games that have just gone live at um, Amazon. So that should really, really help those sales sort of on here. I've had a look through my eBay shop, and I can see I've got a lot of stuff on there. It's been on there for over a year, so I'm maybe starting taking some of this stuff off um just getting rid of it to make more, more, more space and sort of coming over but but um i'm sort of starting to waffle now because i wasn't prepared i wanted to go on live today but i went out um as i say i went out and sort of started waffling oh the other thing that's it the other thing was just just coming where are they gone where are they gone i'm going i say yeah, my head's all over the place where are they gone? This is a. I've got to say a thanks to Nick for this one when I find them. Uh, yes. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm looking for something. Um, I can find the bag. They come in. Where have I put them? I've just literally just had them in my hand two seconds ago. No. Right, Nick put out a video a couple of weeks, uh, um, about a week ago, about how to fix and source out computer games, you know, the retro cartridge games. And, um, and he put a link down below for a set of screwdrivers. And I went and bought those screwdrivers. I literally just opened them up from the mail just now, press record on this video. And between the time of me pressing record and open them up, I have lost them. Yeah, I do not know where they've gone whatsoever. Yeah, they are well, little screwdrivers, but yellow. Uh, I'll find them later on. Um, I'll probably throw them somewhere or put them somewhere. No, never mind. <laughs> but um, I did buy those. I did buy those. Oh, we've got some people over here. Yes, um. Not really. Sure. Yep. Yeah, so I, I'm about to use them now. So I've got a few cartridges I really want to clean up sort of on there as well. Oh, I've got a couple of questions coming in. Um, hi, Lisa, sort of on there. Yes, Ashley, how often do I, do I or how, how often do you spend sourcing? I spend sourcing as well I can. Um, generally, when I do my, I go to the um, post office every day. I have a click and collect account and I drop off my mail sacks. And next to where I go, where I drop my, my mail off, there is a, <laughs> my wife says hi, there's a charity shop. So I check in that charity shop. There's also a couple of charity shops around my area, which I go quite regularly. I've also, what I also do as well, I give leaflets out to all my local charity shops and they call me up when they find stuff. And I get phone calls maybe two, three times a week from two or three of my charity shops around the area where I live. Um, I go down, have a look, rummage through everything. Um, only a few days ago, I picked up a massive job lot of Lord of the Rings and Doctor Who comic stuff. You know, when you buy the magazines, you get the free subscriptions, that sort of stuff. I, I picked a load up for 20 quid. Sort of on there. Um, I also picked up a couple of signed photos from Star Wars, the original series from um, Mark Hamill, um, Harrison Ford. Uh, who else has signed on there? Um, really, Samuel? Uh, the, the, the picture who played R2, D2, C3, PO. Yeah, all the main characters cast signed these pictures, um, all being authenticated via the Star Wars Club in, in Norwich. So, uh, so that was a good little pick up there. And she sold me them for £25 each. So, but generally, I try to go out two, three times a week around the charity shops, and then my t then I spend the two days uh, the, the weekend sourcing inside the car boot sales. I go to five car boot sales over the weekend, and I also check through Gumtree, Smock, eBay, and that sort of stuff to see any deals. And my phone flags up. I've got I've got reminders and sort of um, on the phone every time someone lists something on Facebook groups and. And that sort of stuff in Norwich. I also have a flick of those and chat to people on there as well. So do quite a lot of sourcing. Um, there we go. These are the screwdrivers, which I took over there. So I do quite a lot of sourcing. I'm now having my extra storage locker. 
I'm also able to put them on as well. Yeah, when do you sleep? Um, I went to bed, I say, got home last night at half one. I watched a bit of TV, um, an episode of Sting. I think I went to bed about 2.30, 3 o'clock last night. And I was up by 6 o'clock this morning. So three hours, not too much. <laughs> yeah, never. Yeah, basically, my wife just said that, never. Yeah, I'm, I'm either always sitting in front of this computer, either doing some eBay sort of stuff or sort of stuff. Just trying to get as much as I can. I'm not at the level where I want to be. When, when I'm at the level of the business where I want to be, easy three thousand turnover every month um on ebay and that's and then coming on the extra then i'll be very very happy then i can sit back and relax a little bit better that is the goals for this year <laughs> i sleep over eight hours per night <laughs> yeah i think that's due to the army sort of days um i, I get used to not having any sleep at all well at least i found my screwdriver though yeah i worked it out that I've also got eight, what's it, I worked out that um, I've got to monitor eight or nine internet-based things daily. So I've got YouTube to monitor, BrickLink to monitor, Amazon to monitor. I'm also a scout leader, so I'll have to monitor that system as well. My YouTube account, I monitor my Facebook account, my Twitter account, my um, Instagram account. Then I've also got my army accounts yeah, to look at as well. It's just crazy. And, and then I've just also now signed up to be a community first responder as well. So there's like 10 things I've got to try to juggle with as well as family life as well. Yes, it is probably a, bit, a little bit hectic. Um, I probably need to call back stuff one day, but um, it might get there. Right, rubbish. Let's put that in the bin. Right, so is there now anything else, little questions sort of over there? So I've got nothing really, really major sort of planning for this week other than my brick links sort of stuff. I'll do a few photos and put them onto my Instagram of how we're going over setting up. I'm currently building a, um, for my Lego sort of set, so if anyone's interested, I'll go grab it now. Um... Excuse me, Samuel. So I'm currently building the Death Star, so hopefully that will be up and up and running fairly soon. And I'm just waiting for some orders and bits to come back. Um, of of the Barracuda, yeah. So this is the original Barracuda. Um, so there's two versions of this floating around. They brought out so that was the original Legoland one, which is instructions. I'll just move this away before I drop it. What's bad? Yeah, no, yeah, I don't want to drop it. Yeah, so that, so that, that Barracuda was the original one. Uh, if you get that, you're looking at good money on there. You look at um, if you've got the box and everything, um, you can get some 150, 200 pounds for that. In the condition I've got that, I've had to put non-genuine sales. I've had to put some um, other sales on it. I'm still looking about a hundred pound, uh, maybe hundred plus, just when that thing goes as well. So I'm um, quite a little happy, sort of on there. Right, I think I've been going on for how long? I've been going now. Let's have a look. Can we work this out? Been going live. Uh, I see. I've actually can see on this screen that I can see myself live. I've got eight viewers. Uh, seven viewers so someone's just dropped off um i don't know how long i've been going but th that's it for now so if there's nothing if no one's got anything else they want me to ask them or, or go through yes i sorry i have waffled and i keep waffling because i tried to i'm trying to focus i'm trying to get more stuff out i'm trying to think of my head but what i'm going to do for my next one on next monday at 12 o'clock i'm going to have a list sort of written down of the topics i want to talk about and then once i know that um i'm gonna be a bit more clearer and i'm enjoy it a little bit more sort of on there but thanks everyone who's in the chat and um, all the comments down below if you want anything for me to chat about next week or if you want to ask me anything how i do things and that sort of thing put a little comment on the on the video and i'll quickly have a research on there i do have some things planned coming up in the future i want to go talk a little bit about accounts and how i manage my accounts and sort of thing i'll set my own sort of accounts up i also want to talk a little bit more about 
how to clean leg care and how to, and how I how I clean it and how I source it and that and how I go about fixing it up and that sort of thing as well. That's coming up in the next sort of few um, snippets coming forwards. But thanks again, and I'll see it later on. Bye for now. Sunshine, what sunshine? <laughs>